who came to you and said, please stage this crazy giant show? Was it Cameron McIntosh? How did it happen? Um, it's a very long story, and I'll try to cut it as short as possible. But Cameron had received a tape of some music that came from uh, a concert performance that was given in Paris of a show. It was. Uh, it didn't have a narrative. It didn't have a complete structure, and it was based on Les Miserables. But it started one third of the way through, and it mm -hmm. finished on the barricade. And so, uh, I, I, he asked if I would consider that tape, and over. A period of time, I've been thinking it would be wonderful for the Royal Shakespeare Company, yes, Shakespeare Company, to do a musical. And we had done a musical version of the Comedy of Errors and won the Olivier Award, um, but a proper, a proper, a, a major musical. And it began to occur to me this could be the opportunity. But since we'd already done a show called Nicholas Nickleby, which was um, an adaptation of a wonderful 19th century English novel. I said, if we, the RSC, are going to do a 19th century French novel, then I must get around me all the people who were involved with Nickleby. And so it was the same production team and, of course, many of the same approaches, but it became an RSC show. It was great that we were doing it for the RSC because we had a long development period, much more than would have been achievable if we'd not been a, a, a repertoire subsidized theatre. Um, so it was an RSC production. Over to you, John Caird. <laughs> I, I, I think this is only an hour long, this program, isn't it? Uh, no, we go over. <laughs> Yes, it was, it, it was, I think, when Trevor and I both listened to the music, uh, I, I listened to it in on a car journey from Newcastle on Tyne down to London, and I, within about 10 minutes of turning on this tape, I knew this was a show I had to be involved in. The, the, the score, it, I didn't understand a lot of it, it was all in French, of course, but the score was just so brilliant, and the and the quality of the singing, the 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 sort of cabaret French cabaret chanson style of the singing, was so beautiful and effective and and charming, um, and it just felt like an important piece of work that we could make something very very extraordinary with. 